I'm Graham Johnson from the Port of Tacoma. Here's what's happening on Pierce County's working waterfront. We begin this month with visible progress at the new Port Maritime Center site. Crews are now at work near the Foss Waterway, removing soil contaminated from historical operations. Environmental remediation is the first phase of major work on the site. So excited about this incredible project because it's building a deeper connection between the Port of Tacoma and our community that will benefit generations to come. The Port Maritime Center will include a new office building for the Port and Tacoma Public Schools Maritime 253, which will offer career and technical education to students from across Pierce County. There's a new addition to the port's growing electric vehicle fleet. The maintenance department now has an electric yard truck for moving containers and servicing cranes. It comes with a charging unit that can be moved around the port as needed. This is a way for us to get started and basically test what they're gonna, if they're gonna work for our operation. The zero emission truck will also be used to demonstrate the new technology to port tenants and industry partners. Most of the funding comes from the state's Volkswagen emissions settlement and the grant required the port to scrap an old diesel yard truck. The port is committed to reaching net zero for greenhouse gas emissions under its direct control by 2040. The port is making another contribution to the Puget Sound Gateway project. In October, commissioners approved nearly $16 million toward the final segment of an expanded State Route 167, connecting Puyallup to I-5. That brings the port's total contribution to $30 million. WashDOT's work on SR-167 is well underway. The project will be a big improvement for connections to the Port of Tacoma. It is a great step in finally, you know, connecting the dots. Commissioner Dick Marzano serves on the Gateway Project's Executive Committee. Transportation was a key topic in early October as Port Commissioners held a joint study session with the Fife City Council. One project discussed, the Interstate 5 Port of Tacoma Road Interchange. Construction is expected to begin on that project's final stage in 2025. Elected officials also focused on efforts to address homelessness in the Tide Flats. Port of Tacoma commissioners meet at least once a month at the Fabulich Center. Meetings start at noon and public comment is welcome. In October, commissioners passed a resolution recognizing Native American Heritage Month in November and the second Monday in October as Indigenous Peoples Day. To get meeting agendas by email, you can sign up at portoftacoma.com for our newsletter, Peerside. We also help you follow the port on social media. The Northwest Seaport Alliance is recognizing top performing companies in the Gateway. Recipients of the North Star Awards were honored in a ceremony at the Museum of Flight. Harbor Freight Tools won Importer of the Year and International Feed was named Exporter of the Year. Ocean Network Express received Ocean Carrier of the Year and Mercer Logistics was given the Service Excellence Award. PetroCard received the Environmental Stewardship Award. The show you're watching just received a national award. The American Association of Port Authorities recognized Working Waterfront Stories from the Port of Tacoma with the Lighthouse Award for Excellence in Digital Communications. A $50,000 economic development investment from the port is helping the Mount Rainier Scenic Railroad expand. Railroad staff members and volunteers are replacing worn out ties on the track between LB and New Reliance so trains can run farther. We turned around and called our tie supplier the next day and said we need a thousand ties delivered and they thought that we had um, had a typo. Uh, and th thought we wanted a few hundred and we said, no, we need a thousand. We're putting them all in. Mount Rainier Scenic Railroad resumed train rides as a nonprofit in 2023 after the previous owner shut down in the pandemic. Excursions are so popular, they often sell out. You can check out our in-depth story on the railroad expansion at portoftacoma.com. 
The port's biologist and photographer teamed up for a special event in October. Biologist Kristen Everett gave visitors a tour of Place of Circling Waters, a port habitat site. Port photographer Joe Barentine offered advice about how best to capture the scene. Another habitat site event is planned next spring. Finally this month, a fishy celebration. People gathered in early October at the Puyallup Fish Hatchery for the Salmon Homecoming. The port hosted a booth at the annual event, which celebrates salmon returning to spawn. Thanks for watching. A new edition of Working Waterfront is coming in December.